What's the most hurtful thing you've ever heard about yourself by accident? Story 1. When I was in the 7th grade, I lived in a shitty podunk town in East Texas. I was weird and an ugly duckling. In order to fit in, I decided to become a cheerleader since all of them were popular and well-liked at my school. I made the team and considered all of them friends, even though they were mean to literally everyone who they didn't consider cool. One day during practice, the base of my stun, the people who hold you up, dropped me and I fell flat on my ass, which bruised my tailbone really badly. At our first game, we were on the sidelines and during a break, I overheard our team captain laughing about how funny it was when her and the other base dropped me on purpose and that they hoped I'd be hurt enough to not be able to participate at the game. As a 13-year-old, it destroyed me. But in order to still seem like I was liked at school, I didn't tell anyone about it. Story 2. If another nurse had been taking care of him, he'd be alive right now. Spent the entire night running around trying to stabilize a patient, and my bitch of a co-worker sat there talking shit with my other bitch of a co-worker loudly talking about how incompetent I was the entire time. Neither of them lifted a finger to help. When the patient crashed, both of them magically disappeared, and it was nurses from the other side of the hallway who came to help with the code. They came after all was said and done, and then I overheard one of them say that. Then they proceeded to tell the unit manager I was incompetent and crying at the bedside. Thankfully, neither of them work on the unit anymore. Story 3 My wife had a falling out with some friends of mine that she met through me. We had known them a long time, but I had known them for much longer. I was upset with her one night because they were always asking why she never came around anymore, but she absolutely refused to see them. I always thought it was because of this little side business project they went into together that didn't work out. So I'm driving my wife somewhere and I just start getting upset with her that she won't make up with them and just move past it like they did. And it sucks that she never comes with when I go over there. So she finally broke and told me the truth. Every time she went over there without me, they would talk shit about me, putting down my personality, my humor, and much more. I guess they thought she would be okay with it, like a joking, haha, my husband can be such an insert something, right? But she wasn't okay with it. She's not a confrontational person, so she never really spoke up. But... She was disgusted by the way that they spoke about me behind my back and refused to have anything to do with them. She had been letting me think that it was all her fault and she took it because she knew the truth would hurt my feelings. And it did. Story 4 Went out to a bar with some friends for a birthday party for my ex-girlfriend. She really messed me up when she left me, like really bad. But I was trying to be nice since she invited me, so I figured I'd go out and be there for a drink or two. So, a mutual friend who had been broken up with a few days before and was there. So as I made the rounds, I talked to her and tried to do whatever I could to let her know I would be okay. I'm no therapist, but I did my best, you know. I knew what a bad breakup felt like as I was going through one, so I tried to help. Anyways, after I left the table, I overheard her talking to my ex at the bar about me trying to give her advice, and she said, Well, nobody has ever loved him, so what does he know about any of this? And they started laughing. Don't think they knew I heard, but I grabbed my coat immediately and took a long walk home. I don't need people like that in my life. Haven't willingly seen either of them since. Story 5 I saw two girls I roomed with for a short while in college had been publicly posting on Facebook about how weird, annoying, and disrespectful I was. Their reasoning was that I was taking an 8.30 a.m. class and only weirdos do that, and that I made a shit ton of noise every morning and disrupted their sleep. It hurt because I tried really hard not to be disruptive. I wouldn't let my alarm go off because I woke up naturally around the time it was scheduled and would just turn it off before it beeped. This was partially out of anxiety. 
I changed clothes in the bathroom, tiptoed everywhere, and wouldn't even eat or zip my backpack in the room because I wanted to be quiet. As far as I knew, neither of them woke up any of those mornings, and they never said anything to me about it. Story 6 I was copied into an email conversation where about 10 messages earlier, one of my employees had described me as an idiot and suggested to the recipients that they didn't get me involved in the situation they were discussing. I'd always thought we got on well and it knocked my confidence. Edit. Thanks for all the replies and messages. Some of you are really nice. I've gotten much thicker skin now, but this happened many years ago when I was quite new to management. I eventually talked with the lady who sent the email and she was extremely embarrassed and apologetic. Then, when we talked more, it came out that one of her colleagues was spreading shit about me and she hadn't questioned what was being said. It took months to get rid of the real problem causer. This wasn't in the USA. It's difficult to fire people where I am. And the real confidence crusher was knowing that he was poisoning the well that whole time. Things were much better once he was gone. Story 7 Not overheard, but actually read in a file about me. My mother passed away suddenly, and I received a file from my father that she was meaning to give me. It was a psychological profile, along with it, test, personality test, and other stuff. This wasn't a surprise to me since I'm autistic and have been in therapy as a child. There was a part, however, about my family and their trouble living with me. Especially my brothers and dad were having problems coping, and learning about how my existence pained them was difficult. My parents got divorced basically because of me. My brothers were embarrassed by me. I'm doing better than expected. I was never supposed to be living on my own. There was talk about assisted living or even an institution, but somehow I managed to leave home as soon as I got 18. I got married, had kids, and even though I struggle a lot, I get by. Story 8 My stepmom saying I was useless, heartless, abusive, leeching, etc. When I couldn't get my dad a birthday gift and instead painted something for him. I was like 16 at the time and had no money. I couldn't get my mom to buy something for her ex-husband and stepmom never wanted to get to know me. To my grandma. Actually pretty sad as Art was still a big deal to me at that age and has changed how I've seen her as a person. Story 9 I was 7 and basically poor trailer trash. But I asked my friend if I could stay the night. He called his mom to ask and I overheard her say, Tell him no, I don't want roaches and lice. Really cut me deep. To this day I have extreme anxiety about keeping my house clean. I couldn't help it, I was poor. And our roaches didn't pay rent, you bitch. Story 10. I phoned my friend and asked him if he wanted to hang out. I was maybe 10. He said he had to ask his mom. I heard him say, Lazarus 870 wants to do something, but I don't want to see him. I guess he either thought he muted the phone or did a shitty job at muffling it or something. Then he came back to the phone. Sorry, my mom says I can't. He was a terrible friend over the years. Story 11 At a family reunion, my mother stated she was so happy when I moved out. It was my house and I was letting her live there for free after her divorce. Story 12 I even have a good relationship with all of my brothers, even though they still have trouble treating me as an adult. It's like... Always thinking everybody knows you're retarded except you. And then finding out it's true.